to my channel. This is Rhonda. I hope you uh, like what you see. If you do, give that a subscribe button there in the corner, a little quick hit. Otherwise, I'm going to get right down into it. Today, we're going to be doing a, is it a dupe? Um, I've got this. Let me get right in here a little bit. It is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. Um, this is literally my second jar of it, and as you can see, there is hardly any left. I mean, oh, I really should get some more. My second jar, I love this stuff. However, this stuff is also $38 on Sephora. Uh, it's 1.68 fluid ounces, $38. And of course, you know, either I have to make a trip to Des Moines, which is a 90 minute drive, or I have to order it on Sephora.com and that'll take three or four days to get here. So, so I found this, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, $9 at Walmart. I've got a Walmart not that far away. Uh, if I really looked, I could probably find it in one of my local stores. So, and it's 1.7 ounces and I'm going to try not to spill it looks exactly the same. So I'm going to give it a little test. I'm going to put the Aqua Balm on this half of my face. I'm going to put the uh, Hydro Boost on this side of my face. I've done everything else. I've washed, toned, um, done all that, put my serums on. I just need to put my moisturizers on and I'm going to give it a quick try to see if the Hydro Boost is going to be a good dupe for the Aqua Balm because if I can save me almost $30. Hey, that's some shoes, right? I love me some shoes. And if nothing else, it's a tank of gas. Good gravy. Or it's more money in my savings account, which I really probably should work on. So I'm going to dip in here to my Aqua Bomb. Got some on my finger. I love the way this Aqua Bomb feels. Yes, I bring it down to my neck because my neck gets dry too. It soaks right in. And it doesn't leave me feeling sticky. I've got a couple other moisturizers that I've tried that just kind of leave me feeling just a little tacky and sticky. And this Aqua Bomb doesn't. So, here we go with the Hydro Boost. Oops, I got just a little bit too much. Because this stuff is new. Got some on my finger. Give it a try. Feels maybe a little thinner than the, the uh, Aqua Balm. And maybe that's because I put a little bit too much on, you know what I mean? But it's soaking right in. And ex... Maybe just a hair bit more tacky, but again, I had a little bit more on my finger because this is brand new and this is practically out. But now it's soaked right in and they feel just, they feel exactly the same to me. Let's see what the, I've got the ingredients on the back here. Well, I do on this. Hold on, I'm going to look and see if I can find the ingredients. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a quick ingredient compare between the two. They share a lot of the same ingredients, although they are not quite in the same order. They do share a lot of the same ingredients. Um, personally, just feeling the way my face feels right now, I'm saying that this Aqua Bomb is going to be a fairly good dupe for this. Er, let's try that again. The Hydro Boost is going to be a good dupe for the Aqua Bomb. So if you've ever used Belief's Aqua Bomb and say you don't want to spend $38 to get a new one, I would say give this Neutrogena Hydro Boost a try because at least based on the few minutes that I've had it on my skin and between uh, when I looked up the ingredients and read the ingredients and did some comparing, it's been about five minutes now. And they, both sides of my face feel exactly the same. They have the same amount of moisture. Um, they, they're not tacky at all. Um, 
So yeah, if you've ever wanted to try the Belief Aqua Bomb and you're a little reluctant to spend $38 because, hey, I live in an area where spending $38 on a moisturizer, and there's a lot of people that can't literally afford that. I know you're like thinking that's crazy, but no, really, there's a lot of people that can't afford it, but maybe you might be able to afford the $9 for the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I've got to be given these drugstore brands a really good thumbs up. They have totally stepped up their game. They are making drugstore products that are just totally affordable, affordable and are actually battling some of the high-end products that I've loved um, for supremacy. I've got a couple of the foundations and now a moisturizer that I like just as well as stuff I buy in Sephora. And let me tell you, you know, Hey, I've got two kids in college, and uh, we're helping pay for their college, so let me tell you, the $30 that I can save on the on the, a moisturizer could either be going for my kids' college or to put in my savings account so that when I retire in a few years, I won't have to go on food stamps. So, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, and it's got the hyaluronic acid, which has been a big thing here in the last few years is a total go. Um, I've got just a few more days of this left. When I get done with this, I'm switching over to this. Hey, $30 more in my pocket is always a good thing. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. That's the nurse's orders. Bye-bye.